Welcome back to another Treeline Academy mini segment. We're going to talk specifically about Go Hunt Maps. We're going to focus in on how to download and manage layers and how to download your maps efficiently for offline use. Go Hunt Maps came out with a new release, so make sure your Go Hunt Maps is updated as of today. And this new release adds an entirely new process to manage your layers and your offline maps. So it's really, really smooth and I'm really, I'm really digging it already. So I'm going to run through it real quick and show you kind of what we're talking about. So before we dive in, let's talk about some terminology as far as Go Hunt Maps. Here we are in the web version right now. We're sitting here looking at the Go Hunt Maps web-based version. We just finished up our first 10-day bear hunt. I came home for a couple of days to redry some clothes because we got rained on every freaking day for 11 days straight. We saw tons of bears, killed some nice bears. I can't wait for the videos to come out. Well, I'm getting ready for my second 10-day Idaho hunt. And then we'll be moving on for a 10-day hunt or 10 or 12-day hunt in Montana. Before we do all of that, I've got to make sure my offline maps are solid and ready ready to go and tested guys tested is a key word so when we talk about layers in go hunt we're talking about all these supplemental layers private land government land all the units the roads wildfires water all these layers that that um, go hunt has available for each state the programmers at go hunt have added a new feature and now you can download the entire set of layers for the entire state with one download. So once you download it, you don't have to worry about the entire state again. It will automatically update as new stuff is added, like new fires are added or new roads are changed. Any updates that are made to this layers data will automatically update. So then the second step to offline management is to download your base map layers. And when we say base map, when I say base map, what I'm referring to is your aerial photo view, which like we're looking at right now, or and or, well, it will download both automatically, your topographic map layers. So that's the only thing now that you'll have to download before you go on a hunt is your specific area and you'll only be downloading your satellite and topographic view as a package then that data will work with your layers file that you've downloaded as well. So we're going to jump over to the mobile device and I'm going to run through on my phone, show you exactly how I'm going to do it and how I set up my downloads for most of my hunts or how I'm going to set them up for this year for most of my hunts. So here we are in the Go Hunt Maps mobile version. What we're going to take in the field with us, it's on our phone. In this particular case, I'm using an iPhone Pro 13 Max. So for this example, I'm just going to pick a random spot. And we're looking at the topographic view. If you've been using Go Hunt Maps, you'll notice a couple of things have changed. You know, at the bottom, it now says library. So when you click on the library, it'll bring up all the states. You can see Idaho there is where I'm going. It's got a check mark on it. So the check mark means that it's already been downloaded. The entire state has been downloaded and it's on my phone. So it's just sitting there ready to go. You can also see when you click on it, it'll say downloaded as well right below the photo. And all these layers now, whether they're turned on or turned off, it doesn't matter. They're all downloaded to your device ready to go. So if I wanted to do another state, I would just click on the download. It will say, it'll bring up a window and it'll say download all 356 megabytes. That's all of that layer data we talked about. But it's a real simple process. You just go to library, you go to the state, you hit the cloud button with the download, that will download the entire state. Once it's downloaded, it'll look like that with Idaho with the check. So that's it. Once you download the state, you're ready to go. So then before your hunts, you need to download your hunt areas, aerial and topographic views. So you'll have two sets of data. You'll have your layers data and you'll have your base map tiles data. And those two will work together when you're in offline mode. We're going to click on offline maps. It shows you all of the maps that have been downloaded. If they've been downloaded successfully and they're on your phone, They've got a check mark, but again, you'll always want to click up here in the top and put it in offline mode and do a double check to make sure your maps are working well. Always, on any app, you always want to do a double check. So now that we're here, we're going to download a new map, right? Remember, we've downloaded the layers now, but 
to work with those layers, we need the base map layers as well. It's a two-step process. So we click the plus, real simple. You've got two options. You've got low resolution or low detail, and you've got high detail. So in this particular area, I'm gonna get over, let's just say this creek drain, this is our spot. I'm gonna be over it, I'm gonna hit the download, I'm gonna download that high resolution. I can tell you guys on the last hunt that I was on, the aerial photo quality and detail was incredible in Go Hunt. It's probably some of the best I've seen. It really, we needed it. We were hunting these tree patches and we were trying to identify these bears moving in and out of these rocks and these rock cliffy areas and these tree patches. And the aerial photo imagery in the high quality was so good in Go Hunt that we were able to pick up these little tree patches and move to effective glassing distances of those. And we were able to do the same thing with the rock cliff edges. It was really, really, really valuable. I download the high res for any of the area that I'm gonna actually be physically hunting. And then I go back and I click low res and I center my hunt area in the middle of the screen. This is a very wide area on the low detail. And then I download all of the surrounding area around that hunt area. So I've got usable imagery to navigate, drive, move around, and do those kinds of things. But again, I download the high for my hunt area, and then I download the low for the surrounding area. So to start the download, you simply just select the high or low that you're gonna do, and you're just gonna click download, and it pops up a warning for you. Go Hunt is helping you not forget to get those layers like we just talked about. So it gives you a, a warning, it says you can go to it right now and do it, or you can say, I'll do it later. So that will prompt the download and it will start downloading that data. And once it's done, you'll see that it'll be a check mark there. It's already done. May 5th was today. So it's check marked and it's downloaded. And now you can see we've got the orange box. That's our downloaded data. So the next thing I'm going to do is download that low res for that same area. So I'm going to, I'm just going to go a different route. I'm going to hit the plus arrow. I'm going to say new map here. Now I'm in low res. So now I'm going to center my hunt area in the middle of the map. And then I'm going to download the low res and say, no, I'll do this later. So it's gonna bring up and start the download. You'll notice that this time, my internet speed's a little slower now on this one, that it's got the progress wheel and it's downloading. So once it's completed, this download's gonna have the check mark. I really like this new feature from Go Hunt. I'm going to be having a full Go Hunt Maps application review on the new Bear course that I'm working on. And then I'll be adding that same review process to my e-scouting elk course as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, and I hope you have a great bear season.